This is Don't Crawl, a punishingly difficult platformer that evokes the spirit of the classic 8-bit games from the 1980s. That's the kind of game where timing is everything, and a single hit will send you right back to the very beginning. This curious multiplayer game recently hit Steam Early Access, and I know you have a lot of questions. So, let's crib this. So, is this the sequel to Power Hoof's game Crawl? No, it's not even the same developer. This is a game so inspired by what Power Hoof was able to do that they came up with the name Don't Crawl. The game came out of Ludum Dare number 33. It was used in an ironic way. Apparently there came a point where the developers realized it was too late and the name just stuck. So here we are left with a curiously unrelated game with a very similar name. But let's try to get beyond that terrible name and actually talk about Don't Crawl. This is a punishingly difficult platformer where our hero avoids deadly traps and collects valuable gems. If you can make it through the challenging obstacle course without being hit by spikes, lasers, or roving enemies, you will complete the stage and move on to an even harder set of traps. In other words, this is the kind of game where you'll die dozens of times in an attempt to memorize the many complicated levels. Is there any reason you're picking up gems? Actually, there is. Instead of losing everything when you die, our hero will keep his collection of gems. This he'll use between rounds to buy single-use power-ups that will make traversing the deadly stages a little easier. The shopkeeper sells rocket shoes that'll send our hero soaring, a top hat that'll give us an extra hit point, a special dash move, and more. But remember, these powers cost money and they only last until you die, so be careful. The good news is that there are a lot of easy gems to collect, so you won't run into a situation where you run out of money and can't grind for more. Isn't this supposed to be a multiplayer game? You bet it is, though I didn't get a lot of time to play with that. Don't Crawl supports split-screen play, as well as online fights. The idea is for one person to try to beat the stage while the other players are laying down traps and taking control of the various monsters. This is a cool concept that I will definitely need to spend more time with. The same can be said about the level creator, which is a lot more robust than I was expecting. There's a lot of potential to create incredibly detailed stages and use them for multiplayer battles. Don't Crawl is an insanely tough platformer for people who love an old-school challenge. While I'm not a big fan of the single-player experience, I did find a lot of potential in the multiplayer modes. The game officially supports up to four players at once, though six can get in on the action if you fiddle around with some of the files. The $9 asking price is a little more than I was expecting, but I can see it being a good value for those who get into the multiplayer battles and create a bunch of levels. The Steam Early Access release seems solid, but definitely know what you're getting yourself into before downloading. Hey, thanks for watching our preview. Don't Crawl is the type of throwback game that seems to divide the audience. Some absolutely hate the overwhelming difficulty and unfair traps, while others love it for the exact same reasons. It's certainly for a specific audience, and I'll be curious to know if you're the type of person looking for that extreme challenge. Anyway, we still have a bunch of reviews to get to this week, as well as a countdown of the Super Nintendo's best and worst reviewed launch games. So I recommend you click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.